What's up, y'all? Back at you with a video here. Uh, today we're going to go over the rear end setup I got for the G body. Uh, it's quick performance. So we're going to go over all the parts and pieces. Take a look at the uh, tubular control arms that I ordered. Uh, first thing, though, if you hadn't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do that. That way you can follow along. Uh, and help out in growing the channel. Also, uh, hit the like button and comment down below. Let me know what you think about the build. So let's go over the center section here. Um, this is a aluminum center section. It's a Yukon bolt through style. See right here uh, provides extra support. Uh, finally, getting around to making this video, I've had uh, the actual rear end set up. I ordered it on the 10% um, off July 4th sale that they had going on. So, actually had it for a while. I just hadn't made a lot of progress on the build lately. So let's go over everything that uh, the center section has here. So it's got a billet uh, yoke. It's a 1350 style yoke, so it takes the big 1350 U joints. We've got a billet steel pinion support. Uh, that's the um, route I took and still going on aluminum. Figure it'd be a little stronger. Since this is going to be a street car, I went with a 389 gear. However, I did go with a spool. Um, I was kind of iffy on what it would take to handle the power that I might put at this car down the road and I didn't want to basically buy something that I might uh, have to change out. My other choice really that I was looking at was going with a Detroit locker unit. But I decided to go with spool. One thing it's a little cheaper so um, I was trying to not run the budget up on this so much because I'm way over budget what I originally intended to do anyway. So that's kind of the center section set up at this time. Uh, one reason I went with the bolt through unit and the Yukon. Well, the Yukon's a little cheaper. Yukon also warranties uh, their setup. And um, bolt through when I had looked at the strange units before, a regular aluminum, you know, of course, aluminum is stronger than the stock one and, and even the nodular iron once you get it to a certain amount of horsepower. This also saves weight, but uh, just the strange on there, I think I saw on their website. It said if you was going to use it on the street, they recommend the bolt through because it flexes less. So that's one reason I went through, went with the bolt through unit. So let's take a look over here. I kind of went budget. Well, I did go budget on the braking system. I just went with the drum brake set up. You can see I need to get this thing painted. This is the Quick Performance brand also. Uh, nothing special. One reason I did is because I didn't want to um, have to deal with proportioning valves and getting everything adjusted. Once again, budget wise too. Right now I feel like this will be fine 
getting the car stopped won't be a problem uh, when I carry it to the track. Um, there's some pretty fast cars that still run drum brakes on the back, so it's not a huge issue, I don't feel. Later on, if I need to, um, I can go to a aftermarket disc setup on the back. But, uh, you know, the ones I would want would be those that would uh, clear a beadlock wheel, because if I'm getting that fast, I'll probably need beadlocks at that time. So, uh, let's take a look over here. We've got the axles. see Air Mosier. Nothing real special with them. Um, 35 spline and I think I went with a standard bearing half inch wheel studs, screw in wheel studs. Um, one reason I went with the 35 spline was if I happen to not like the spool, since I'm going to be driving it on the street and it can be a little touchy, um, 35 spline is the largest positive traction style units that are made like Detroit locker and then there's one that strange makes also I can't remember the uh, the exact name of their um, unit but that's the reason why I went with 35 spline instead of the 40 spline now here's the real uh, I guess piece everybody probably wants to see on this video and that is the green uh, housing itself let's see if I may be able to get a little light on this here So it's a nine inch Ford. I've actually got the parts of it taped off where I painted it. I kind of wait around too long painting it and got some surface rust. I went with the aluminum spherical uh, bushings up top for the upper control arms. It is still set up for stock suspension. As you can see there's the spring perch. It's got the adjustable lower control arm mounts. I went with billet um, housing ends. It's back braced as maybe you can see here. It's got a drain plug and a jack um, not a mount but jack pad to jack it up. Um, you can see right there, it's got the drain plug. It's also braced internally for more horsepower. It's got thicker tube in, uh, on the axle tubes. Uh, as you can see here, it actually is a fabricated housing, however, it does have the standard 9 inch look to the housing, which is probably the only thing I would say I'm disappointed about it. I was kind of expecting the hexagonal, uh, if that's a word, look on the back side. So I think. So let's take a 
look at the last pieces to the rear end. And that's going to be the TRZ. TRZ Motorsports. Uh, tubular control arms for the rear. It's for the G body. They're adjustable. So here's the upper. And then the lower. And I'm not sure if these are powder coated or if they're just painted. They seem pretty nice though. Uh, I did decide just go with the Times joint ends on all of it. TRZ, if you know anything about the, uh, if you keep up with the drag radio world, you've probably heard of these before. Uh, if you look, oh, maybe this light here ain't helping. Well, that's some really nice TIG welding. Talked to somebody who used to run uh, limited drag radial class, which is just a step under radial versus the world. They were actually running these control arms, so they should uh, handle anything I can ever think to put to, to it. So that's kind of an update. Um, like I said, comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Hit the like button. Help out the the video with the YouTube algorithm and uh, be sure to subscribe even hit the bell notification and uh, we're uh, getting ready to make progress and get this thing on the road anyways thanks for watching guys